with paintbrush mm. the film. I went in <clears throat> with some knowledge of what the knife crime menace is like in, in the UK, with some idea of it, but the granular details of it I didn't know until, or some of the granular details of it I didn't know until I, I embarked on the research. So, so yeah. paint, Paintbrush is a short film you've recently yeah, produced. Yeah, it is a short film. Produced, directed, and wrote? No, uh, wrote, wrote and directed. Wrote and directed. And executive produced. Okay. Yeah, Annie East and uh, Pat Michaels, so the other two are the, are the producers. Hmm. And uh, we've had help along the way, hmm. a lot of help. And then in, in collaboration, of course, with students and alumni of BU. So what did the research entail when you say like you didn't you knew a little bit beforehand? How did you go about what were your first <laughs> steps into finding out more? Um, generally, generally conversations, you know, semi-structured conversations, interviews, if you like, uh, with people from the demo demographics of, uh, of um, my research, of my subject matter area interest, rather. So I had uh, meetings with I had interviews or, or rather conversations with some parents uh some social workers and against the backdrop of what they said there were existing materials upon which to with with, uh, with which to compare them or to which to compare them and um study what the gaps might be and opportunities for extending the conversation or making an intervention in the conversation and that was how we then proceeded to the writing of, of uh, paintbrush all right, I see. Yeah. So, is paintbrush the final output, or do you, do you write something alongside that as well as a as a you know as a written output? <clears throat> paintbrush is the um, paintbrush is one of the outputs and one of the steps to further output. So, the first step where uh, the first step was the research was, was the data collection. <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of the interviews and and the conversations with um, with stakeholders, the second step was the writing of the screenplay. Third step was the filming of the screenplay. Fourth step is the editing. And what we find along the lines of practice research uh, is the reshaping of the story based on um, the realities we came upon as we developed the story and how we had to mediate those challenges uh, um, uh, to get to where we want to get to. So this has entailed uh, the writing of the script twice. So in other words, we went in for, went into production with with the first with the first uh, with the final draft with the final script the shooting script, and then upon completion we've had to reshape certain things, along the lines of how much were we able to feel to film. Um, with the limitations of budget, mm. right, and how much <laughs> has COVID impacted on the narrative, and how much have uh, collaborations across board impacted on where we want to go with the story when you say how much covid has um affected the narrative do you mean the narrative of making the film or the narrative in the, the film the, itself? Na the narrative of making the making film, the film yeah, yeah of course <laughs> the meta narrative absolutely yeah when we had to down tools for about a year oh, croaky. pick it up and go okay at the point where we we're filming this we had this thought going on but events appear to have overtaken this thought Mm. And um, <clears throat> realities like access to certain filming locations are uh, are, are no longer uh, available, and so we had to redirect the we had to reshape the, the locations. For instance, we 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 filmed in London in 2019 mm. um, for the pickup pickup scenes that we were thinking to film in London. We had to re we had to redirect and film in my garage in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the, so some of the things that COVID. Uh, the realities of realities of COVID brought upon us, mm. and um, <clears throat> there is a, there were limitations to to collaborations we could do with um, students at the time. Of course, they're learning on the job, and um, at some point we had to bring in industry expertise for for editing. Yes. So and and that has informed to some degree some elements of the narrative as well. Things to cut out, mm. which you hadn't thought about before until the expert in editing came in <laughs> i mean editing is a big thing in film isn't it absolutely. i mean that, they say that's the final rewrite of the script don't they often the edits Abs so absolutely i think absolutely. it's a yeah really important part and when you write a transnational screenplay <clears throat> excuse me when you write a transnational screenplay there are aspects to it that um, need some decoding there are some cultural aspects to it cultures that are that are that are um that are familiar to you the filmmaker that might not be familiar to the editor for instance which you have to then decode for uh, them to be able to access 
And that also creates the necessity of rewriting some aspects of the screenplay. I see. What you, because your screenplay was written in multiple languages, is that what you're saying? Or what? Yes, with a oh. little bit of, of the Igbo language, in, the, in a little bit of the Igbo language, in a little bit of the Yoruba language, but predominantly in English. I see. Yeah, and, and the editor is, is, um, is Brazilian. Was it Vitor by any yes, chance? Yes, it oh, was Vitor. Oh, Vitor, I like Vitor, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to chat to him at some point on here as well. <laughs> Can so, ask him about his experiences. Ab- absolutely. Well so you see, then we had to decode. We've had to decode some of the some of the aspects of the script. Uh, in, in terms of like cultural understanding of the script, cultural is that what you mean? Cultural understanding. Right. Nuances of some dialogues. Mm. Nuances of some songs. Mm. You know, so that when he's cutting, he knows what he's cutting mm. and merging together. Of but course. those are the beauties of uh, transnational productions, I think. Right. And collaborating with people. And, of course, collaborating. 